Hey everyone, this is JG at NTOP. Today I'm gonna to show you how you can create a stochastic lattice inside NTOP platform. So to start, we'll put a box on the screen, a simple box, and then add some random points inside of it. And after all, a stochastic lattice is really made up of random points. And I'll put a uniform space in between those. So you see all the points inside that box, but I need a method of connecting all those points together. And for that, we'll use a Voronoi volume lattice. So throwing the random points in there, um, but we, we also need a way to contain everything inside of that box, and for that, we need to use a volume mesh and first convert that box I made into a mesh. So I'll go ahead and do that now and add a couple of options in there uh, to dictate the sizing. And there you can kind of see the mesh, but now you've got uh, everything contained inside. Let's take it to another level, though. As a colleague of mine likes to say, when you see this icon, this opens up the door to the, your all-access pass to geometry. Instead of a uniform porosity size, let's ramp that up along the z-axis. So when I'm negative 5 below the coordinate system all the way up to 5 above, let's ramp that from half a millimeter up to two millimeters. And there you have it, the porosity, the spacing between those members starts to vary, okay? Let's take this a step further and then add in a thickness. We'll offset all the members and we'll start off doing something uniform as before. Maybe 0 0.02 millimeters will be my uniform thickness. Now I want to have a little more sizzle to that. I wanna vary the thickness and grade it the same way as before. So again, you see that icon on the left, Let's ramp this up and take advantage of all the geometry in the fields present. So same thing as before, we'll go from minus five up to five and we'll grade this. Instead, this time, as it goes to the top, we'll go thicker, three times thicker to be precise. That's what you're gonna see the strut size being. So there you have it. That's a very fast and quick way of putting a stochastic lattice with full control over this. I've just created a, what you might call a repeatable workflow. What if I want to take a brand new body, in this case maybe a sphere, and apply that entire set of blocks, that sequence of blocks, all the way to that sphere. So you should have the same sizing and the same spacing of the points inside this body. And there you have it. Pretty quick and easy to do that. Now you might say, John, you've got a lot of steps in there. Is there a way to help me get started and do this a little bit more streamlined. Yes, as a matter of fact, under this Architected Materials Toolkit, we have an infill Voronoi lattice block. Here, you drop your body in, you add point spacing and thickness, just as before, three simple variables. Now, you may not have quite the level of control as, as the way I showed you previously, but this is a quick way to get you started. I've got uniform sizing and everything, but of course, I could add those ramps in there as before. So there you have it, a couple fast ways of creating a stochastic lattice inside NTOP platform. Thanks so much for watching.